All right, everyone, welcome back today. We are testing every single mask on Amazon. Still going. You've been with me from the beginning. What is the matter with you? Today, we are once again testing the Hu Heta brand, which I checked and I am pronouncing that correctly. Uh, let's check this guy out. Uh, which one is this? Is this the, I think this is just the, that's the pink. Oh no, it's the multicolor pack. Okay, so we've got the multicolors. That's neato. I like that. Disposable, breathable, comfortable safety mask. $9.99, great price. We pay a little bit more for it. Just trying to see if there's any claims that they're making. I can't remember what the Yihu Heta mask did last time, but I bet our editor will. Close, but no cigar. Uh, 93.742, 93.742. Anyway, um, I like the listing though, it's nice. And to have like a bunch of these different, you know, colors all coming in once. And look, you can use that school or a factory, you know, when you go from school to the factory, that's illegal, okay? Don't make kids work in a factory, unless you own the factory, in which case I do that. All right, let's put this in the clamp, see what happens. Getting back in the swing of things here. PFE machine, you'll let her rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. If you want to know what that is, check out more. We are not testing fit here, just the fabric. Keep that in mind. It is a part of the test, not all of it. You need to consider a lot of things when choosing a mask, but if it doesn't give you good filtration, like how good is it? All right, let's take a look at the box. We're doing a box opening here from Hu Heta. When I look at the, oh, look at this. Look at that, it's the same as what appears in the mailbox. Gotta give them that. Um, not a soft touch, so they kind of cheaped out on that a little bit. Disposable Fay Protective Blue Masks, new. Not blue, not making any claims on this guy. I don't think they're gonna claim, they're making claims. Whoa, they're individually packed. I read that out loud, but didn't process it in my brain. Um, that's so expensive to do. Gotta give them that. And there's no quality certificate. <laughs> These look Chinese, but I don't, maybe they're not. Really, really nicely sealed here. Oh, but look at this. Nitpicking, but you see how the cut here is kind of cut off the edge. So you've got one, two, three, four, and then you're only getting half of the welds there. And then this one's too long, one, two, three, four, and it's being long. That's something that we check for in our quality assurance. We wanna make sure that those cuts are even. Not necessarily gonna you know, mean that the filtration is good or not, but a lot of times I find that those little quality assurance things do actually play out. All right, let's do the test. Whoa, it's really big ear loops. So here's the thing, I'm gonna do a bunch of these at once. I'm gonna attempt to open like 10 at once. Yeah, I did it. Easy open. That's nice. These are great. Stick them in your purse. Like if you're going to a concert or something, you know, I don't think I'm going in one of those concert bathrooms ever again without a mask. So this would be great to have like as a single use. Uh, fun fact, you don't want to put uh, a mask by itself in your jeans pocket. You can actually, the polypropylene can break down and uh, turn into formaldehyde. Who knew? That's probably bad for you. Um, Okay, so the ear loops are huge. It's probably not gonna break on your face and they're not breaking when I do this, but when I apply just a little bit of pressure, it's breaking. So I would go about half on that. Yeah, that's, those aren't good. Those aren't good. They're not gonna break on your face. Oh, wow, that was really bad. I don't know, that one might break on your face. Oh, and look at this. This is insane. This is like pure insanity. Like some crazy person put this together. Look at this. Look at the different, pa I know I'm nitpicking, but look at, see how the weld is there and then it's just at a cattywampus angle that's a technical term and look at that this is all over the place these are not these welds are not the same uh, from mass to mass that's terrible also they're doing it wrong on the construction side they're they're trying to design it so that it goes against your face like this and it hides but remember we want the welds to be on the outside we'll give a better fit okay because it's fit and filtration all right let's do the test the nose wire is really really thin I don't like that. Okay, I'm getting a, like a plasticky cardboard smell here. I 
I'm gonna call this uh, a liquor store plastic bag. Yeah, liquor store plastic bag. Uh, now in Texas, um, you, you, you need to put the alcohol in a bag before it leaves the store. And typically, it's a paper bag. Uh, so why is it plastic in this case? I don't know, that's for you to decide. All right, any of that crap matter? If this doesn't protect you, let's check her out. Mmm, 87.532, 87.532, not ideal. Wouldn't put it on an enemy. Uh, that's just me. I'm being a little nitpicky. Remember, we're looking for ASTM level one at a minimum. That's uh, 95%. Uh, better is ASTM level two or three. That's going to be uh, uh, 98%. And, uh, you know, I couldn't remember the percentages. My, my, look at this. My collar's all over the place. What is going on? I'm falling apart over here. Do I even test masks? Is this even a real lab coat? All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next test.